Is this no. okay? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Hey, it's Nicole Russell from Last Dragon Pizza, and welcome to Pizza Wars on First Week Pizza. For some people, pizza is all about tradition. Dough, sauce, cheese, and that's it. But today, we're boldly going where no pizza chef has gone before. I'm talking about the crazy, over-the-top, show-stopping slices you see going viral online. And I can't think of anyone better for a viral pizza showdown than Mike Tony Bologna. What's up everyone, my name is Mike, founder and owner of Tony Bologna's, straight from Jersey. So we're making some crazy shit today. We got a cowboy style pizza called the Flaming Cowboy. I get shit all day long from these traditional pizza makers. Oh, you're putting things on pizza, tacos, how gimmicky is that? Until they try it, and like, yo, my grandfather's rolling in his grave, but too bad. I know Mike is gonna do something crazy today, but you know, I wanna take this in another direction. I'm gonna be making a tavern style bar pie with a crust made from popcorn. My friends Mark Iacono and Scott Wiener are the judges today. These guys really know their pizza and they aren't impressed by all the stunt slices out there, so I think they're really gonna like my dish. Nicole is no joke, but I'm prepared to slaughter at all costs. I need that golden pizza trophy. Tony Bologna, you're going down. Okay, Mike, I'm so happy you're here. When I heard it was you, I said, oh my gosh, what is he gonna do? So go ahead. What you doing, Mike? First of all, it is game on. It's game on. I am so excited to be here with you. <laughs> I know you probably got some crazy stuff up your sleeve, but today it's all about ribs. In the pizza, with the bone, the whole nine yards. So I'm gonna go home and let Mike, no, just go ahead, <laughs> go ahead Mike. So we're gonna do first and foremost, extra virgin olive oil. Get a little in the pan, oh my schmutz it around with your hands, and then I got this dough. So this is 72 hours fermented. Put it in the pan. Okay. And we're gonna press it out just like that. This is serious. So we're not fucking around. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grill up our onions. Okay, let's now, go. Now this is the flaming cowboy. So this is a cowboy chilling out, right, with the hay in his mouth. He got some chaps on. Are they assless or not? I don't know. How do right? you come up with this stuff? And what is he doing? <laughs> He's chewing on some hay. All right. And then maybe what he's doing, he's maybe smoking the hay. <laughs> smoking the hay. So let's saute this up, smoke some grass. Smoke right. some grass. Now the next thing we got <laughs> is this short rib. We took a whole rack. We then put them in a braise in the oven for eight hours. Wow, that's a long this time. This motherfucker cooked, and the best part of it is the bones started getting dislodged. And then I cubed it up, put it back in the liquid, cooked it for another hour. Oh my god. So gosh. after an hour, this is what you get. Oh my gosh. That's where it's at right there. Mm -mm. Now we're gonna put it all over the pizza. Mm -hmm. This is looking fantastic. All right. Hold on. Did I just see you squeeze the juice out the meat? Yeah, why not? When you, know? you start squeezing the juice out the meat, that's insane. All right, so the <laughs> short rib meat hands. is down on the pizza. Then what we're gonna do is continue to saute this up. Right. Get everything real fucking messy and yes. fucked up. Now it's time to dress this up with the bones. Oh. So for this, we're gonna set the bones down on the pizza. What? Just like this. What One, if the T-Rex is going two, on? two, and three. We're gonna get some cheese on this. Mm -hmm. We got scamorta cheese. I then blended it with dry aged, low moisture mozzarella. All right, yes. now, we're gonna take this dough and we're gonna layer it over. Wow. Put it down. Once I connect them, I want that Detroit style edge. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is take a little more cheese. And then yes. I'm gonna tuck them in between the dough mm -hmm. and the pan. And that cheese, as you know, is gonna caramelize. I'm just gonna stick around for my challenge, but uh, I'm just gonna stick around because this is insane. Right in the oven, yeah. let's let it rock, 450, done. Oh, that looks crazy. Oh yeah, look at that. O-M-G. Mike, what's that in your hand? This is the cowboy juice. Cowboy juice? Put that all over this pizza, just like that. What's going on? Right. You just then... wetting your whole What in the? Did you just set the pizza on fire? Set it on fire. You know what? And then we made smoked stracciatella, which is basically brata filling, and we're gonna put this cowboy fire out. You're putting out a fire on a pizza with cheese. Oh my Boom. goodness. Just like that. I am in awe. Look at how that pops out. <gasps> Get along, little doggy. That's insane. 
insane. You want to do the honors? Okay. Ready? Grab the bone. All right. Wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle it a little bit. Pull it out. Ooh! And the bone is hot. <gasps> Let's cut it like this. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. What do cowboys say? They don't say cheers. What do they say? Yeehaw! <laughs> Damn. Look at this craziness right here. No. And the meat is just dropping out. Hot diggity motherfucking dog. That shit is good. Mike, this exceeded anything I could ever imagine. You brought your A game today. I mean, my goodness. I think my pizza is in the complete opposite direction of this. I want to taste your pizza. Okay, Let's right. go. Okay, let's go. Competition. Let's, let's do go. it. Let's go. All right, let's go. All right. But wait. <laughs> Okay, Mike, the flaming cowboy blew my mind. But let me tell you what I was thinking as far as viral is concerned, okay? People are always calling me, oh, Nicole, do you have keto pizza? Oh, Nicole, do you have gluten-free pizza? So I thought I would make a bar pizza out of popcorn. Oh, that's my favorite snack. You like popcorn? Love popcorn. We're gonna make popcorn right oh, now. Oh, yes. I mean, maybe this would be a great money-making pizza too. Yeah, I hope so. I because the cauliflower it. one went crazy. Yeah. And you saw what Oprah did, didn't even call me. Oprah, Oprah. cauliflower pizza? Ah, Oprah. That's my stuff. You know what I mean? But when she sees my popcorn pizza Yeah, though, she's like, oh. Yeah, and I'm gonna be like, you're too late, Oprah. Sorry, Oprah. As a matter of fact, you're the flaming cowboy. Yeah. This is the better than Oprah. Ooh, I like that. Popcorn crust. I like that. Pizza. All right, look Ooh. at that. Fresh popcorn. Isn't popcorn. that cool? Now that that's popped, we need to bind it together. So I'm going to use some egg, a little cheese, a little rosemary for flavor. Ooh, I like that. And I'm going to take the popcorn and dump it right in. I've never seen this before. So I'm going to pour it out here and push it out to the edge and make it nice and round. I'll put money on it. Oprah's shit in her pants right now watching this. All right, we're gonna slide this directly in the oven, set to 550 for like four to six minutes. There we go. Wow, look at that thing. And now you can top this with anything. You can make a margarita, plain cheese, pepperoni, but I'm gonna stick with my bar pizza theme and I'm gonna go with a clam. Love clam pizza. So I got my whole milk mozzarella now. I'm gonna put some on there. So these are freshly chopped raw clams and we're just gonna put them on our pie. And I made a little clam sauce. All right. That looks legit. You think so? It's a straight stunner, yes. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is put it right back in the oven and we're gonna bake this for another four or five minutes. Yo, look at this thing. This is like show-stopping picture-worthy. Okay, I think it's done. Let's go and see it. Oh, oh. look at that. Okay, Mike, wow. here it is. This is my version of a bar pie made of popcorn and it's better than Oprah's. It's got the crust on it. It's holding up. You can actually hold a slice. And yeah, it's firm. look at that. Hold on. <laughs> you like it? Oprah, you're going down. I'm trying to tell you, Oprah. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, this is that good. Yeah, I'm this telling is you. Really, really good. Okay, well, your pizza was literally fire, and my pizza popped. So now we're gonna take both of our pies to the judges table. So we have Mark Iacona here from Lucali's Legendary. And then we also have Scott from Scott Pizza Tours. And you know, Scott and Mark together have eaten a lot of crazy pizza, including yours on Really Dough. So let's see what they think of our creations today. Let's do it, let's go. Mark, Scott, thank you so much for being here. We're so excited to have you. Mike, you go first. Tell uh, them what you got. I'm ready. This is called the Flaming Cowboy. So fellas, grab onto your assless chaps and let's eat some fucking pizza. <laughs> you ready? Give me a yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> what is that? I'm oh getting my very nervous. Let's go, Scott. Set it on fire. Oh my gosh! Perfect. The pizza's on fire. Is this okay? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Wait, you call that a pizza? <laughs> Mark, you're my first guest. Please pull the bone. Any bone? Any bone you want. Oh, I don't know it's like attached to this. Not that one! Just get that. <laughs> wow. I'll bring this home to my dog. 
This looks insane, but we have to eat it because that's the show. Ready? Yeah, of course I'm ready. <laughs> that meat on the inside tastes awesome. And it being kind of in the innards of this pizza situation, I'm, I'm surprised at how well it works. I thought it was just gonna be a, a mishmash of nightmares, but it's awesome. Very cheesy. I think you're being way too kind to Mike. <laughs> it is a mishmash. No, I'm only kidding, Mike. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, he's eating it. I'm eating it. I think you could have like maybe chopped the scallions a little smaller, because it's like I'm pulling out like whole, like they're just coming out. But other than that, this is fantastic. Is this a pizza? No, this is a short rib pot pie. For once we agree. Scratch a teller on top. No way. I agree, but it's delicious. So what you guys have in front of you is my version of a bar pie, but the crust is made from popcorn. Gluten-free, keto-friendly, and a little seafood. So there you go. Oh. Ready, Scott? It's it pizza. folds. Look at the underside. Beautiful. Mike, get, you taking, taking notes. notes. I'm fucking taking Ready, notes. All, yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Do you like it? First of all, this acts like a pizza, which I didn't expect because it's this popcorn-based crust, but it has the greatest thing to happen to pizza of all time, which is burnt cheese. And the whole bottom of this is that caramelized cheese. And then on top of that, fresh clam. And the citrus, it's that counterpoint to the burnt cheese. It cuts through the fattiness of it. It's awesome. It, it's kind of crazy how Mike made a Detroit-style pizza and Nicole made a corn clam pizza. Her tastes more Detroit than Mike's does. I guess that it's the caramelized cheese on the bottom. Oh. Um, I think it would have been really nice if you threw some uh, chopped Calabrian chilies on top of this. Yeah, I wasn't sure, but yeah, mix. that's probably a good um, suggestion. But other than that, I love the texture. The clam everything about it is fantastic. Okay, Mark and Scott, taking everything into consideration, creativity, how good it tastes, which one you think will go more viral, what do you guys think? As much as Mike's is throwing the kitchen sink <laughs> on a pizza in a totally insane, disorganized, disheveled, nightmarish, confusing, <laughs> upsetting, disturbing way, <laughs> I think that this is the one that more people will get jazzy about. So I think it's the, the Flaming Cowboy. Creativity and taste, I'm gonna go with the clam pie, but as far as viral goes, Flaming Cowboy. <laughs> but I want to eat this more. Mike, it's been a pleasure having you on. This was super tough. You pulled a bone out of a pizza. I mean, I got to lose to that. And you set it on fire. So the trophy is yours. Oh, and thank you so much. Thank you. Listen, I loved your pizza. Thank you. I could eat that all day, <laughs> every day. This is the crowning achievement of my entire life. I don't doubt that. Don't tell my wife and kids. So guys, this was super fun. Thank you guys so much for coming on and we'll see you next time on Peace Awards.